Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday to you. It is January 11th, 2021. My name is Lisa Breezy, exercise physiologist, wellness heart coach, and founder of State of, the, State of the Heart Fitness here in Santa Monica. And today's class, 45 minutes of movement, mindfulness, and meditation, we start with a good 15 minute meditation to start off with, then we go into some mind mindful movement with stretching, strengthening, and then we get up and dance and do some other things to get the heart pumping and then come back down for a little meditation to finish off. So I'm glad that you're here. As I always say, make sure that you listen to your body. Your body always knows what it can do best. So, okay. And uh, if any of you want to stay on after, I have a few minutes to chat and uh, about anything you might want to chat about. Okay, so this is my last class here in my little cozy apartment after 19 years. And so it's, it's kind of a big deal for a nostalgic, sentimental person like myself, but it's, it's all okay. We're moving forward. And I got this signal back in July uh, that maybe it was time to move on at some point, and here we are. So life is closing and opening new chapters. On that note, let's open and get this thing rocking and rolling here. So everybody go ahead and find your seated position, either in a chair or on a cushion or your mat, whatever works for you. And let's do this. Okay. So sitting in a comfortable position with your back tall, your eyes closed to tune in. Your shoulders are relaxed. Hands are on your knees, palms down, palms up, or if you want to place your hands over your heart or in prayer position, whatever feels right to you. Listen to your body, listen to your heart, listen to your soul. And just notice your body and how it feels right here in this space with your nice tall spine, your shoulders relaxed, your heart is forward, eyes are closed. And just bring your awareness to your breathing. And just notice how effortlessly your breath just flows in and out through your nose without any effort. Observing your breath and allowing your body to breathe, allowing you to be breathed. So just observing your breath. Notice how it feels in your nose as it comes through your nostrils. Lengthening that breath, following it all the way down deep into the lungs. Feeling the expansion of the rib cage as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, following that breath back out through your nose. And just slowing that breath way down Deep, deep breaths. Just notice how good it feels to breathe that oxygen in to every cell of your body. And as you exhale, just notice how good it feels to release that breath, releasing any tension in the muscles, any worry in your mind, any stress in your being. Notice any areas within yourself where you feel resistant, where you might be holding on or clinging to something in your mind, wishing life was a different way, a certain way, 
something we might be trying to control that is not in our control, which includes the people we love. So just notice where you might have any resistance tucked away in that little being of yours. And can you allow yourself to let that go? It doesn't necessarily belong in this moment, in the present. So you can give yourself permission to release that and let the breath become the elixir that just melts away any of that tension or resistance. Notice where your mind wants to go. Does it wonder, want to wander off to a future moment or a past moment dwelling in something that happened yesterday, a week ago, whatever? Or do you find yourself projecting into the future? Just observe your mind, that unruly little mind of ours, often very undisciplined. The more you try and control the mind, the more elusive it gets. So just allow it. You can let that thought, follow that thought and then release it and then come right back to present moment. But your breath is the anchoring into the present. When you notice that mind wants to float off, just bring it right back to your breathing. Filling those lungs to capacity with each breath. And taking that breath even deeper into your heart space. Into that calm, quiet space inside, that place of inner stillness, that place of inner peace, that place that is the calm within the storm. You see the world around us like a hurricane swirling around us, but we are the eye of that hurricane as we are rooted and anchored deep into this present moment. Imagining if you were a tree and your feet, your buttocks feel that connection to the earth. And as you breathe in, you're gonna pull that energy up through the earth into your heart space. And on the next breath, you can pull that energy in through your crown chakra from the heavens down into the heart space. So that you feel the connection to both. And you feel the energy flow effortlessly up and down your spine as you breathe. I want you to imagine, visualize, with your eyes closed, the chakras, the energy centers located on your spine. And as we breathe into each one of these centers, just imagine their respective color expanding. So let's first breathe into the base chakra, which is red. This is your grounding, your tribe, your family, your sense of belonging. Next one, let's breathe into that sacral chakra just above the base root chakra. It's orange, it's just below our navel. Breathe energy into that center 
See that orange expand? This is our center of creativity and connection and relation to each other. And then breathe energy into that solar plexus, that third chakra. See it radiating yellow. This is our sense of will and sense of identity, self-esteem. Breathe energy into that center field. And then let's breathe energy into the heart chakra, radiating green. This is our center of love and compassion and empathy. And then breathing energy into our throat chakra, the color of teal, our place where we speak our truth and express ourselves, breathe that energy in. As you see all of those chakras lighting up and then we bring our awareness into the third eye between the eyebrows, the blue, our ability to see beyond present, but in past, present and future all at once, experiencing it all at once is happening now right here in the present. And then the last one, see your crown chakra, beautiful violet. Breathe energy into that. That's our connection to the cosmos, our divine spirit. So visualize all of them just radiating in their respective color. And now we're going to do a very important breath where we're going to pull the energy from the base of your spine all the way up through the chakras, through our breath by contraction of our muscles, our inner muscles in our abdomen. So here's what we're gonna do, everybody. When we take a breath in through the nose, you're gonna squeeze your perineum and you're gonna squeeze your lower abdominal muscles, your upper abdominal muscles. You're gonna pull that breath and that energy as you tighten all the way up your chakras to the top of your head. So pull that breath in all the way to the top and imagine pressure pushing on your third eye. Hold that breath, hold that breath, keep the shoulders relaxed, feel the abdomen tighten, squeeze, pull that energy all the way up your spine, feel that pressure in your head and hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. And exhale, release. Take some relaxed breaths, long and slow. So we are pulling that kundalini energy, our creative energy, all the way from our spine to the top of our head, and we are enlightening our whole being. Here we go. Let's take that deep breath in. Squeeze the perineum. Squeeze the lower abdominal muscles, upper abdominal muscles. Pull it through your heart chakra, your throat, your third eye. Press that pressure against the head, against the top of your skull, and hold it there. Hold it there. Hold your body, bring that energy up, see it rising and hold right in your head. Hold, hold, hold. 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 And release. Exhale. Take a few deep, slow breaths. How are we doing out there, team? We got a few more of these. Ready? Here we go. Make it work. Come on. We're good. As Joe Dispenza says, we're pulling the mind out of the body. So take a deep breath in. Squeeze the perineum. Squeeze the lower abdomen, upper abdomen, through the heart, through the throat, through the third eye to the crown, and hold that energy. Push that energy into the pineal gland of your brain. This is the center that releases us and connects us to something bigger than ourselves. Hold it there, team, hold it there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale, release. Feel the energy. Relax, breathe. Okay, on this next one, I want you to make it as big and as powerful as you can, okay? Everybody ready? You got more in you. Come on. Here we go. Let's take a deep breath in 
and pull that energy up, squeeze the perineum, the lower abdomen, the upper abdomen, through the heart chakra, through the throat chakra, express your truth through the sixth chakra, your third eye, and to the crown, and press that energy, feel it all the way up your spine, hold that breath, team, hold it, come on, hold it, you got this, hold it, hold it, hold it, lifting the body, the mind out of the body, come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, feel that energy, and release. Let your body relax. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. Notice the sensations in your body. How do you feel? Let's breathe in some gratitude. this amazing body that you have that houses your beautiful unique soul you are the divine expressing uniquely as you through you into this world to shine your light brightly Hmm. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale. Ah, shoulders relax, smiles on those faces. Let's go ahead and start some mindful movement. Just rotating our head around in a circle. How was that for you, everybody? I've been doing some pretty intense Joe Dispenza meditations lately, and uh, he's all about that powerful kundalini breath. And he has a meditation called the blessing of the energy centers, which is the chakras that we just did. But his is a little bit more intense even than mine, and for longer. And reverse, other direction. Just notice the slow, graceful, sensual movement of your head, your neck rolling, eyes closed. Just feel the sensations of your body in this moment, this gift that we are given every day is a gift. Good, and then bring your head to center. Take your right hand on your head, tilt that right ear to the right shoulder, left hand, palm down. Feel that stretch through the left side. Yes. Good, feel that stretch, feel that length, open it up. Releasing any tension in those muscles, take it to the other side. Left ear to the left shoulder, right hand, palm down. The song is so beautiful, especially this version. George Michael, father figure, live. Get and then hands on those knees. Inhale, shrug those shoulders up. Exhale, let them go. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down and let your shoulder rolls, shoulder circles in a backward direction. Big circles till the end of time. Yes. Good. All right, hands on those knees. Let's do some spinal flexion forward and back. Yes. Inhale forward, heart forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward, shoulders down. Exhale, round it out. Inhale forward. So think of your heart just moving forward and back. Shoulders relax. Synchronizing with your breathing. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Good. Inhale forward. Exhale back. This time I think that my love Movement equals life, team. Let that movement, let that energy flow through your spine. And then add some dimension. 
attention to that movement. Let's do the coffee grinders. So multi-dimensional movement. Belly button, drawing that circle. Doesn't that feel good, team? Yes. Oh, yes. Woo! Feel that flow. Yes. Good. And then let's take those arms, palms away. Round out your back. Tuck your chin. Breathe deep and slow into those lungs, deep into the heart, deep into the abdomen. And then arms up. Oh, yes. Lengthen that spine. Breathe deeply and slowly. Take it to the left. Deep breath in and exhale over to the right. Feel that stretch through the ribcage. Deep breath in. Up. Exhale, bring those hands behind you. If you can, interlace your fingers. Otherwise, just arms out. Whatever feels right to you. Good. Open. Heart is wide open. Mind is wide open. Let that energy flow. Breathe. Feel that stretch through the arms. And let's shake it out. Shake it out. Legs out in front of us. Toes up. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Feel the stretch in the back of those legs. Bring those toes back. Yes. Inhale up. Yes, I'll be the one who loves you. relax, breathe. Take some long, slow, deep breaths here. Feel that stretch in the back of those legs. Tight hamstrings cause pain in the lower back, causes a stress in the lower back. So really important to keep those hamstrings flexible and they get tight when we sit a lot throughout the day. Ay, 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 sitting. Movement equals life. Not that we should sit, but Let's make the majority of our day movement in some way. All right, team. At least getting up and doing breaks to move the body. All right, everybody loves shoulder work. Shoulder and breath work. Oh, Lisa, we love it. Yes. All right, team. Palms away. Not palms away. Palms away. Push toward the opposite directions. Shoulders relax. First, just feel that stretch through the forearms. As we bring those hands back, fingertips towards our ears. Good. And then let's go ahead and start rotating. I bow to you. I bow to me. I bow to thee within myself. I bow to you. I bow to me. I bow to thee in myself. I bow to you. I bow to me. I bow to thee in myself. Yes, rotating, turning those doorknobs. Yes. Starting to feel those shoulders. We're just observing them. We're just observing them. 
So, you know, we might feel a little discomfort, a little fatigue, a little burn in those muscles, and that's okay. Different from any sharp shooting pains, we don't want those. those your, body's, your, your body's indicated that something's not right. But fatigue, a little burn, all good. Burn, baby, burn. Make friends with that burn, yes. Good. All right, let's take those arms wide. Inhale back. Exhale powerfully forward. We love this one, right? Powerful breath. Inhale as you bring those arms back. Inhale through the nose. Exhale powerfully through the mouth as you push those palms together, but stop before you hit them. Squeeze those pectoral muscles of the chest, and then as you bring those arms back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Full awareness into your body, where you're feeling this. Guess what we get to do at the end of this song? Powerful breath of fire for at least a minute and a half. Doesn't that sound exciting? Woohoo! Lisa, I love it. Good. And I'm not even feeling it in my shoulders because I'm just having such a great time. I wish it went on forever. I know. All right, team, let's go up. Yes. Inhale, exhale. body we're training our minds we can do hard things we can push through discomfort we can do it our spirit is strong developing our spiritual muscles that's what gets us through the challenges in life and when we have to endure we do it we dig deep and we do it oh yeah team a couple more on the pads, 60 degrees. Ready? Here we go. Let's pump that breath from the abdomen. Breath of fire through the nose. Pumping that energy up the spine, pumping the oxygen into every cell. some deep, slow breaths. Wow. Do you feel like every cell of your being is just buzzing right now? Yay. All right, team. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. All right? Good job. Okay. 
hands and knees. With a little cracky. From Dirty Dancing back in the day, right? All right, left arm out, right leg back. Push through that heel, straighten that leg. Reach through those fingertips, pull that abdomen in. And we're gonna do some elbow to the knee, squeezing those abs. Everybody inhale, exhale, bring it in. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Cry to me.
press, press, four, three, we love this, two, burn baby, burn hole, oh, bring it down, ay, 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 child's pose, everybody say, You can just do it the legs bent or legs straight, okay? We're going to alternate lowering one leg down, but always keeping your back flat, abs are strong, okay? So if it's a heel, if you're bending your knees, that's fine, but if you want to do the full leg extension, that's the most challenging. All right, everybody, here we go. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale other leg, exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale lift, inhale down, abs are strong, smiles on those faces because we can't help ourselves, even if we tried, that smile would be there, yes, because we're having fun, yes, woo, say a prayer for me, say a prayer for the world, say a prayer for all of us, we're all brothers and sisters, God the divine. Oh, yes. Good. A couple more on each side. Isn't this fun? Everybody loves 
out their abs, the core, the foundation of your body. And exhale as you bring it back in. Knees to the chest, stretch that lower back. Feet on the floor, bridge that back up, knees in alignment with those hips. Take that right leg, extend, hold. Excellent. We're going to bring ourselves up to standing because here we go, team. We're finishing it off. You know, with the little disco inferno. Got to bring the camera back here so you get to see the full effect. All right, team. We ate squats. We're going out with the tramps today. to close it out. <sighs> that wasn't any fun at all. Gosh, it forced me to do this kind of stuff for you guys. It's ridiculous. You can tell I, I don't enjoy any minute of it. All right, back is tall, shoulders relaxed. Eyes closed, tune in to that precious heart. Let's take our hands to the heart on this one. And let's just feel that beautiful heart pumping in our chest, the pulse of life, but also the emotional and spiritual heart. The emotional heart allows us to feel, to emote, to 
love, to have compassion. And that spiritual heart reminds us that we are all one, all a part of each other. Like individual cells in the body, so are we to each other. Let's just breathe in some amazing gratitude for this moment, for your choice to be here today to choose something to nurture yourself, your body, heart, mind, and soul. Breathe in gratitude for this gift of life, for music. for the chapters of our lives that tell our story. I thank my beautiful place, my beautiful apartment of 19 years. Thank you for bringing me so much peace and healing. And I am forever grateful for all of the memories within these walls. Grateful for every moment that I get to share with all of you. All right, let's just feel the peace in our heart. And let's recognize just how powerful and how bright we really all are how the world needs us to shine that light, to be loved, to be compassion, to recognize that we're all struggling with something inside ourselves. So let's be kind and celebrate each other on this beautiful day. We heal our heart, we heal the world. Let's take this energy out there and make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. That wraps it up, team. That brings us home. Oh, well, thank you so much, so, so much for being a part of my life and being a part of my journey of whatever. I, I love having you a part of my life in, in uh, all ways. So uh, thank you for being there with me and with all of your encouragement and support right. and your love. And uh, if you want to stay on, I'll stay on for a few minutes for chat. Otherwise, those of you who have to go, Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Those of you on YouTube, thank you for watching. And again, thank you for your donations if you feel like you want to give a donation. Thank you. All right, everybody, have a good day. Talk to you thank soon. You. And next Monday will be from my new place. We'll see what that looks like. Stay tuned. Love you. Bye.